Well, hello all, and happy 4th of December, which is a national day for cookies in America, which explains the obesity, but also is the birth date of the best Portuguese winger in current football, Diogo Jota. So let's wish him a happy birthday. Let's move on to episode number six of YTC season two. Uh, second time that I'm recording an episode. I do hope you've enjoyed um, well, the previous one on my channel and the others on Benji and Joe's uh, channel respectively. Now I do have to address a statement. It appears that some of you do think that I record under some kind of influence or some kind of substance. I am a professional. I do not do these kind of things. Obviously, I do not re record under the EPO or salbutamol uh, or clenbuterol, um, which Sergio Higuita definitely does, as seen by uh, his previous performances, especially on, uh, on the French roads. So there might be an investigation launched into that. However, today is all about one big, big race. Milano. Sanremo. We haven't won a classic yet with YouTube Cycling. I don't think we have. If we did, we probably like won a B-Tech race last season, like a Grand Prix de Québec, potentially. I do not know, but I don't think we did. So today's the day that we win Milano Sanremo. And we're on the way for La Primavera, Milano Sanremo, the first classic of the season, the classic opener for, um, well, for the professional peloton and the 175 riders present uh, here in Milano. It's going to be a very long road, a very, very long ride, if anything, for um, for the peloton and for those who have a chance of winning it. I can count the winners or the potential winners on, on the fingers of my hand and actually have 10 fingers, which is good. Um, so yeah, for 165 riders today, it's going to be a very boring day with no purpose. Uh, however, we do have a purpose today. Ben Swift plus three, Magnus Cornelissen plus five, Caden Groves plus two. We have a decent chance of potentially taking the win. I'd love to take the win, um, but I have been struggling. Yeah, I've been struggling to win a Milano Sonomo in a couple of last attempts I did, and I don't know why. Um, I feel like this variant doesn't really suit me. I preferred the one that had like the left, uh, what? left-hander, then right-hander, with like 1.4k onto the line. I, I used to know how to win this one every time. This one I struggle a bit much, uh, a bit more. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, but I, I'm not as confident as I can be on PCM. And we do have the first event of this race. We have a crash, a crash involving uh, three non-important riders but mainly a crash involving Giacomo Nizzolo, the Italian champion for Movistar, and Sam Bennett, the uh, Irishman from Duncan and Quickstep. I do expect them to come back in the peloton as the rhythm of, uh, of said group isn't exactly high right now, but it is uh, an incident. Nonetheless, maybe it'll have an effect later on in the stage. I don't believe it will because PCM isn't as um, smart, I guess. Um, but it is, as I said, an incident, and also it's not raining anymore. Good to see that the rain decided to uh, to disappear in the blink of an eye. And as we near the start of La Chipretta, the rhythm in the peloton keeps on increasing. We're going to come back on the last four breakaways. Rafael Valls, Giovanni Leonardi, Diego Rossa, and Simone Velasco. Uh, they're going to get co op There's three riders dropped in the peloton. Uh, Buongiorno, and then the riders we saw before, Anacona, Zana, and Bertasso. Uh, Bennett and Nizolo did come back, um, as you previously saw, and now the big, the big things begin. Now the big things begin. La Chipretza to start off the uh, hostilities in this Milano San Romo. I don't exactly know how to manage this. I'm, I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. I usually have a sprinter that's able to go over climbs more, well, better than Caden Groves. So yeah, this is a this is a tough one for me. Yeah. All right, Magnus Scott Nielsen made it in the first group easily. Ben Swift is following the uh, Dane just behind. So is uh, Biniam Germay a bit a bit further. Caden and Patrick Conrad uh, a tad tad behind the uh, main group or the front of the main group, should I say? But uh, no uh, no fatalities or no casualties, should I say? In uh, 
in Lashi Pelitsa. Thank God there was no fatalities. I just saw someone crash. I don't know. There we go. I just saw someone crashed. Uh, Alberto Bettiol and Davide Villela have yeeted their bodies on the ground. Uh, they have let the body hit the floor and they will not partake in uh, the finish of Milano San Ramo. Hausler and Ben Swift in a decent position. Uh, we're going to drop Magnus Co in the train here. Actually, we're going to go like that and like that. All right. Edvald May, please do well. Thank you, uh, Magnus, for being blocked by Team Wellens. That's very kind of you, Mr. Wellens. Oh, is my entire team, like, going to get blocked? We started Deepo Joe. Oh, we started Deepo Joe San Ramo. Uh, Stefan Kung accelerating on the left, on the right-hand side of the road. Sorry, we're on the left with uh, Patrick Conrad. And uh, Magnus Court Nielsen in the wheel. Uh, a lot of accelerations. Ben Swift isn't too far down either. Um, our British champion. He's just there actually. He's 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 chilling. He's living his best life in the wheel of uh, of Biniam Germay. We're actually gonna have Biniam to pace instead of um of Ben Swift. That might be uh, just a tad better. All right, come on boys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're gonna reach the summit of the Poggio di San Remo. Perfect. Uh, should I take the wheel of Caden Groves? Yes, sure, why not? Is that an attack? That is an attack from Philippe Gilbert. That is a very good attack by Philippe Gilbert here, actually. Uh, let me swap them two lot around. Thank you. Uh, Biniam can uh, just stay behind, I guess. Alright, 3.5k to go, come on. Magnus Court Nielsen leads the way with Ben Swift in the wheel and then Caden Groves. Caleb Ewan is oh, not exactly here. Caleb Ewan is not exactly here. Uh, you know what, I'm going to start the sprint here, and I'm going to... Wait, who's that? That's Mark Hershey. I'm going to try something. That might backfire. But I feel like it could be a smart move. I feel like it could be a smart move. We've waited a bit more. Ben Swift, come on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! No, I'm going to jump up. I'm going to get jumped by Demar. Arnaud, 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 Arnaud! Why did you have to do this to me? Why? Ah, oh, no, for fuck's sake! That's the second Elena Sanoma for Arnaud Demar. But it's yet another L for me. Alright, it's a win for the French champion Arnaud Demar. Uh, it's actually the top five of national uh, champions. Uh, with Ben Swift in the UK, Sagan in Slovakia, um, Caden in Australia, and VDP in the Netherlands. We come in second and fourth place, which I, I don't think it's too bad, if I'm going to be like genuinely honest. Uh, but I'm disappointed, I, I won't lie with you. Finally, me and Alice, I remember, wasn't 292 kilometers and 800 meters, but 292 kilometers and, seven meet and 700 meters. Out of one. Out of one. Vinayam comes up in eighth place, Magnus Gondis in twelfth. It's not bad, right? Overall, I'd, I'd be happy with it. Uh, Demar has 82 sprints compared to Ben Swift's 74. But I feel like I missed out on the win here. I really do. We're going to move to Catalonia for the um, second race of the episode. Volta Ciclista Catalonia. Seven stages for um, this one week race in Spain. It's actually logical because it's a one week race, therefore, seven stages. It, it does make sense. Uh, but we'll start off with a stage between Calea and Calea. Uh, then a hilly stage between Mataro and Olot, Tona La Molina, Baga Port Aine, which is the queen stage of this Volta Catalunya, Rialp Vals, Elvendrel, Villanova y la Eltru, and finally, und, and finally, sorry, uh, the final stage around the uh, capital of Catalonia, uh, Barcelona. Okay, uh, no one in my team has a good day today, so that's not ideal. However, uh, we're going to send a few like a few guys uh, in the breakaway, and by a few I do mean one rider. We're going to send Luis Leon Sanchez in the breakaway. I do want to see um, if our Spaniard can find uh, his legs of when he had like twin or when he was like 25 or 24 or when he used to ride for Caisse d'Epargne. So that's when he used to be good, for, for who don't recollect that. Um, but there's a few attacks. Luis Leon is actually my pick to try and get the um, mountain jersey. But for that, that means the breakaway should be able to go. And uh, Sepkus Matteo Fabro don't see it that way. And I just realized that I haven't even talked about the lineup yet. Uh, but we did bring Rafa Maika as our leader. I believe he was on Tirano. I don't know what Joe did. Hopefully he did well. 
but um, I mean, you lot will have seen it uh, by now. I will have seen it, but as I record right now, I don't know. We also have Clément Champoussin, who finished on the podium of Paris-Nice, uh, Patrick Conrad, Harold Tejada, Stefan de Bode, Predrag uh, Petrovic, and finally Luis Van Sanchez in a seven-man group at the front, alongside Ruben Guerrero, Mechawi Kudus, Camille Malecki, Michael Stara, Adrien pa uh, Aurélien Paripeintre, and Alejandro Sorio. That's way too good of a breakaway. One kilometer until the summit of the uh, Alt de les Guerriers. Uh, and it appears that only Camille Malecki is actually able to follow Luis Lan Sanchez, and the uh, Polish rider cannot do anything. Have we destroyed everyone? I mean, by have we, I mean, did Ruben Guerrero pace too hard and then killed everyone but myself? I feel like that might have happened. Alright, Luis Leon is going to struggle to get the um, the 16 points at the Koi Farmich because Malecki is currently killing me. That's just, it's just, yeah, it's just how it is. He just is. And if he decides to go for it, actually, I, I, I could go 99 for the, like, the last 100 meters or so. Uh, but no, he's going to get 16 points. Yeah, makes sense. There goes Luis Leon for the points at the Alt de Montseny. And Malek is not going for it. Oddly enough, they haven't been very offensive um, on the um, KOMs. Like, they've sprinted for, for the, the intermediate sprint, I guess. But when it comes to the mountain classification, they kind of let me go. And we're going to drop Meleki. Purely on pace, we're going to drop Meleki. Okay, maybe that's why he wasn't going for the mountain jersey. Or the points, I guess. Because uh, he just didn't have the legs. Uh, but Luis Leon Sanchez is now gone. He's got a 30 second lead over the peloton with uh, 17k to go. Oh yeah, we're not, we're not winning it with him today. 5k to go. Our train is ready. Uh, Luis Leon Sanchez is going to get caught up very soon. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to start, um, start our efforts. Clément is going to get blocked, as per usual. Who's with Lewis Hahn? Who's that? Is that Michael Woods? It is. Michael Woods is um, is in the leading group for some odd reason. Oh, actually, Michael Woods has decided to fuck off in the distance here. Oh, I see. Ambitious move by uh, the uh, Canadian rider. We'll see if we can come back on uh, the man from the land of... Um, uh, what's was, what was it called? I forgot the name. Clément? No, you're going, uh, going to take an L again. Yep, good. I want, I, there we go. Maple syrup. That was the word I was looking for. And whilst I was looking for that, uh, we took a fat L and finished second, third, and fourth behind Maxi Schachmann. Thank you very much, Bora Hansgrohe. Not cool. Stage two on the way, and we are wearing two of uh, the four distinctive jerseys on this race. Luis Lan Sanchez obviously wearing the red jersey of, um, of Best Climber. Jean Poussin wearing uh, the yellow of points, I guess. Uh, he's wearing uh, the blue. Who's in the, the Blauer kit? I don't know. It's fine. Is it Kemal Malecki? It is. It is. Malecki actually going for the break as well. Uh, oh, that's that's going to force me to follow him, innit? Ah, uh, that's not nice. That's not what I wanted to do today. I wanted to enjoy this race and not send anyone in the break. Thank you, Camille. There's been a crash. Where it pulls, Richie Port, Masnada. Uh, I think I saw someone else that was somewhat important. Um, Kemner. The entire team of Wanty. Okay, mm, they'll come back, um, but interesting to see uh, a crash on flat terrain with nothing happening, with big riders as well. Why did I go for Micah with, for, the, for the water? Interesting from me here as well, shocking. There's been yet another crash in the peloton involving Alessandro Fanseu. He was already involved in the first uh, incident, uh, so a string of bad luck for the, uh, the young Italian of Trexigofrado. However, in the peloton, uh, we're not going to wait for him uh, because uh, we've started to increase the rhythm with uh, Predrag Petrovic. I did get dropped by um, by Maleki to Zeltan Bouchard at the intermediate sprint. I wasn't paying attention with Luis Leon, uh, and therefore we got dropped. So uh, it is time for me to, to come back, clearly. Also, I think right now, if Maleki gets first at the sprint of Bethalu, he will be the virtual leader of this race. That's not something I can let slide. Robert Resink increases its rhythm once again, crashes. Uh, Jaa Kohanen, Harm van Hooker, Georg Zimmermann, Nance Peters, François Bidard. Okay, important riders starting to crash. I mean, important. Good teammates, we'll say, starting to crash. Petrovic is dropped, so is Luis Leon Sanchez. I mean, soon to be dropped, Luis Leon Sanchez. Tejada is going to take the lead, as we'll have uh, the uh, Alto de Montagut 
and then um, the Castelfoidraorca attacks Julian Lafilippe. Julian Lafilippe is gone. With Marco Woods, I think Madouas Conti and Formolo trying to bridge the gap to uh, the world champion and uh, the rider from Israel Startup Nation. We will manage to do so successfully, which is perfect for us here. Stefan de Bode, once again, leaving, uh, leading sorry, the train. Conrad, Champoussin, my kind of will, I do agree. And I do recognize that this isn't the most um, ideal train because technically I should be pacing for Conrad. And actually, we're going to swap Champoussin and, um, and uh, the Austrian rider purely for the sake uh, of the sprint. But for the GC, obviously, we're going for Micah. So it felt more logical to um, try and, uh, and win or to try and have um, the Polish rider at the back of the train. Clément Champoussin with Conrad in the wheel, 2.5k to go. All right, the bird is dead. Very good job by uh, the South African once again today. Come on, lad. It's a bit of an uphill sprint. Champoussin starts his effort. There goes Conrad with 1k to go. Uh, Maka won't be able to partake in the sprint. Conrad against Pogacar and Maxi Schachmann. And it is a back-to-back -back win for the German. Tade Pogacar raising his hands like an absolute bell end. Conrad in third, Roglic, MP, Alaphilippe Woods, Maka, Madouas, and Zilan Tunes. What an L from um, for Tadej Pogacar. And once again, it's a very nice one. Uh, no, uh, sorry, it's a very nice win. <laughs> sorry, from Maximilian Schachmann today. Conrad in third, Maka in eighth. Uh, no gap. Really, no gaps until the 121st position. I just PCM. Uh, we're still third of the GC. Um, um, we're now th third, fourth, and fifth as we head into stage three between Tona and La Molina. It's a very good dad, the office for the entire team today. Let's go. Um, plus three for, Cle for Clement, plus two for Micah. However, this stage isn't usually a stage that creates gaps, um, at least not that I remember of. Uh, it's usually like a 15 to 20 men group, and the gaps are like five, six, ten seconds at max, or at most. Um, I would have rather have that kind of strength tomorrow. Hopefully, that can still happen. Um, but whilst Camille Malecki... No, it's not. Thank God it's not Malecki. It's Zander Armé. Let's go. Uh, whilst Demelo actively tries to go in the breakaway, we're going to do the same with Luis Leon Sanchez and uh, try and um, consolidate our lead in the mountain classification with the Spaniard. Um, Sanchez is unable to, to go in the break. So uh, we're going to uh, abort the mission. Uh, but we'll still try and cover off uh, all the bases uh, by having Tejada up front. Unless they don't want that either. No, actually they do, but fuck's sake, Malek is now following me. Oh, God, I hate this game. Crash, 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 Clément. Clément is on the ground, uh, but he's going to go back on his bike. That's perfect, that's very good news. That is very, very, very good news. The peloton is going absolutely ballistic in the Alt de Toces, uh, under the impulsion of a uh, former GT Hope, Robert Hethink. I don't know why. I, I, I genuinely have no clue why. Uh, that, yeah, they just decided to sprint everyone to get together as a as a whole. And it doesn't make sense. The fact Richie Port is also in second place in that group. Then it's Seb Kurz, Ben Allen, Roglic. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tad scary. I won't lie to you. Oh, fuck off. Is Maleki going to get the points here? How is he still here? How is the man still in this first group? It's absolutely incredible. All right, Malik is going to take uh, the lead at the mountain qualification with uh, quite a quite a sizable margin now. Oh, this is actually impossible. Like this is actually impossible. Andre Amador is pacing so hard. I'm pacing 87 and I'm literally getting dropped. I'm confused. They've Jumbo paced in the entire climb and now that the climb is finished, they attacked in the descent with George Bennett. What? I know I'm not famous for my tactical judgment, but this doesn't seem like a wise plan. I mean, he's been co-op since, so I, I guess that's that's something for them. Um, Maka will be presented by Clément Champoussin. We've got 12k to go. We're going to get blocked by George Bennett. Yep, cheers. Thank you, George. Very kind of you. Very, very, very kind of you. An attack. Valentin Madouas. Valentin Madouas goes for uh, the attack in La Molina. How does this man have 75 cobbles? Have I missed something? Odd. Uh, Micah still trying to stay in the first group. Um, I have been blocked by so many riders during this stage. Uh, it's unfathomable. Absolutely incre incredible. Pogacar, Bernal in the first group. Then Miguel Lopez. Valentin Madouas, somehow. Uh, Mikel Landa. 
and then the group with the Yomba Riders. Now I wonder what they're gonna do. Because, I mean, they've paced the entire day, just may need to piss me off. Uh, and now they've been dropped. Pogacar goes for a move once again. In the first group, Miguel Angel Lopez follows. Bernal does the same. How does Valentin Madoua do that? If I attack, do they follow? They, they oddly do. Yeah, they do. What are they doing? Landa, Roglic and all them lot just literally killed themselves by not doing anything. I'm so baffled. I'm so baffled. I have no idea. Uh, 700 meters to go. Right hander until the line. It's going to be a 1 2 for Colombia with Egan Bernal as the winner today. Lopez in second place. Tade Pogotar, Valentin Madouas. Uh, then Roglic, Vlasov. Roglic had so much energy as well. He had so much energy. Vlasov in sixth position. We're going to come home with Shahman in uh, what will be the bottom head. The bottom head. No, actually, no, it's not even the top end. It's 11th place with, uh, with Rafael today. 37 seconds is uh, the gap with Shahman. Hopefully, I'm in the same gap or same group. Um, Bernal takes the lead then after stage three of this Volta a Catalunya. And we are 43 seconds down. We have not lost anything, I believe, on Shahman today. We haven't. We haven't. We're still 11th. Uh, oh no, we finished 11th, same time as uh, Landa, Yates and all them lot. Port Aene, let's go. Alright, we have to bounce back from uh, yesterday's mishaps. Uh, we'll also try and get Luis Lund in the break. However, it appears that uh, our favourite Spaniard is currently uh, sick or injured or whatever kind of, uh, of problem he has because he's got definitely an issue. Meleki has joined the break, which is everything but what I wanted to see. So thank you once again, Camille, for the great timing and just being a pain in my ass on a regular basis. There's been a crash. And it's safe to say it, it's, a, it's, it's a big one. Maxi Schachmann, Valentin Madouas, Yombo, probably Lopez, I don't know, Leonard Kemna, but mainly Primo Roglic, and then a group ahead of that. And then there's me. Now, obviously, right, as a fair play and as a, a, a rider with a, a player with honor and and a a conscience and obviously being a nice person, I'm going to pace. I felt like that's probably the wisest decision I, I could have taken here. Uh, Richie Porte is trying to bring back everyone. Uh, he's got there's Mark Stelaire, there's Michael Woods. There's a couple of, of good riders uh, that have been dropped due to uh, to, to that crash. Uh, and I'd like to say goodbye to Primoz Roglic and Maxi Charman. So up the Sanchez, let's go, lad. Pace like this was your last ever day on earth. I mean, no, 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 because I would be a bit sad, and I don't think you would pace like if it was your last day on earth. But hey, you get me. We've uh, crossed the summit of the Porte de Canto, and there are a few riders dropped, including Maxi Charman. He uh, actually didn't make a, the uh, group. I mean, he did come back, but then he got dropped. Um, trying to see if there's anyone else, um, seeing the likes of the Zagiri brothers. Uh, but apparently, there's a favorite in that group, and I can't really see who that is. I mean, I'm I'm guessing it's an, an Zagiri guy. Oh, could be Attila Valta. Could be Attila Valta for, uh, for Group MFDG. Or Tom Dumoulin. But Tom Dumoulin is far in the GC. Groschartner has been dropped. Uh, it's a very bad day at the office for, uh, for Boran's goal today. It really is. I love when Micah gets blocked by absolutely everyone. Because he was in the wheel of Champoussin. Uh, and, and, and now he's there. At the back of the group. Group led by Kun Boomen. Pacing. Um, completely forgotten uh, about Tom Dumoulin's presence. Like four minutes behind. So Schachmann, we're gonna overtake him in the GC. That's that's a fact. Uh, that's a, that's a black hole fact, if anything. Can we overtake anyone else? Hopefully yes. Uh, but right now we're getting dropped, and I don't like that. Kun Boomen, you're not a good climber. I mean you are, but you're not as good as Micah. So please stop dropping me. Thank you very much. I appreciate that from you. I'm struggling to keep up. Uh, I've been at the 
tail end of this group since the very start. I've now dropped with Camille Meleki. It's fine. I still have the energy. I can come back. I can come back. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Who's in the break? Or in the leading group, I guess. Uh, Hugh Carthy and Simon Yates. Very well. Today, today is the one leading this group away. Uh, Henrik Mas. Henrik Mas uh, showing uh, a few signs of, uh, of weaknesses here. The same. Oh, Bernal. Bernal uh, is uh, maybe a bit out of breath here. I don't know. Quite curious to see what happens to uh, the Colombian, the current leader of this uh, Volta Catalonia. Also, Pugacar and Roglic, the two Slovenians, leading away this group. Clément Champoupou and Rafa Maca are still here. I have been holding on in this group for dear life for the last 10 kilometers in the final place, being dropped a few times here and there. Somehow, we're still in the first group and eager to potentially overtake a few of them. If I finish behind the likes of Godu, which, there we go. He was in the breakaway, there was no way he's going to beat me. Carthy Yates at the front, holding on, but uh, Tadej and, Pro and Primoz Roglic do seem to be quite good. They've actually increased their rhythm. Uh, Bernal doesn't strike me as um, the most able rider today. An attack. Jesus Christ, Roglic. Alright, Primoz is gone. There is no way in hell I'm pulling that. No, 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 but I'm sorry. No, Valentin ta mère. That's French. Valentin, for fuck's sake, man. Why do you have to block me like that? No, we're, we're French. We're, we're French buddies. We're language mates. Jay Hindley, Lander, Pugachar, Roglic for the win today. The W is going to be for none other than... Oh no, he's gonna do it again, isn't he? This is incredible. It's Tadej. Tadej gets a win over Roglic, Jay Hindley, Mikel Lander, Yates. We're gonna finish with Carthy Lopez. Uh, we would have been just ahead of Carthy had we had been blocked by um, by Valentin Maldoas, Maldoas, who finishes just behind Clément Champoussin. Uh, what does that could What does that could mean? Yes, good English, good, <laughs> very good English. All right, Sharman is gone. We finish with Lopez. We're gonna. Most likely overtake again Bernal, who crossed the line just now. Um, some interesting uh, interesting results here. Where's Vlasov? Oh, he's 12th, my bad. That's a minute now that we've lost. Okay. GC Wires, that puts us on 7th place. We're 20 seconds away from 5th, which is basically what I'm going to aim for in this race, I think. Stage 5 of this Volta Catalunya. Um, potentially a chance for the breakaway here today. So we're going to see if we can send someone like Conrad and or Champoussin. I'd like to get Clément in the break. Uh, however, I feel like his GC position might be a bit too high for him to have uh, any kind of a free movement in the break. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Miguel Angel Lopez is already in second place. He, he, he ain't going nowhere. We've got a nine-man breakaway. In this stage five, uh, we did decide to get Conrad in the front, uh, but the breakaway isn't exactly getting uh, as much time as I had hoped. Maybe uh, I, don't, I don't know who could be disrupting the the, the wheel of the Peloton to let's go. Not Ben O'Connor or Zander Armé or Kenny Lissand. Maybe me. To then Barambi, Albasi, Kudus, Cherel, and Vakoc. Yeah, it might be me. But if it is, it's kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie. When the Alt de Lia and uh, okay, I didn't expect to see UAE pace now. Uh huh, that kind of like pisses me off because my plan was to pace myself. Not Julian, oh for fuck's sake, man. Juliano Salafilipos, what are you doing? Clement, where are you? Fam, Rafal, what are you doing? Like, genuinely, explain to me in plain words. Why you are so far down the pecking order compared to Clément Champoussin? Genuinely, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. We've got ourselves a small group with a uh, 5k to go. A few guys have been dropped behind, uh, but none of them are obviously important in the GC. At least I don't think they are. Uh, 3.5k will be uh, sprinting. I mean, technically, I should have, I should go for Rafa. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Rafa. I'm gonna go for Rafa Maka. I have to. I have to. 2.2k. Come on, Clément, you need to do a masterclass here. 
That's not bad. Uh, you've dropped. You've you've dropped Rafal. <laughs> and I'm gonna take another L. Oh my god, I hate this game so much. <laughs> uh, what a lovely, lovely, lovely video game. Alright, second place again. How many second places is that? Genuinely. Right, I've had second on Milano San Romo, second on stage one, third on stage two. They're not there. For fuck's sake. Well, it's not the greatest of days, but I don't have any sprinter, so do I care? The answer is no. 6k to go. Uh, my riders are unable to go at the front because, once again, they are unable to um, just form a fucking train. It's not hard, though, is it? The only guy that managed to, like, go there is Tejada. And I do not feel confident giving my entire hopes of winning today to a 59 rated sprinter in Harold Tejada. Uh, so we're going to take a fat L today. Uh, at least he won't be second. Which is, it's, it's nice. It's a change for once. Uh, Clément, Clément is going to come in. What will be fifth place? Ala Philippe, Darrell MP, Pasqualon, Haitha, Champoussin, Charman. I could have easily won that stage. Like, genuinely, this was a very easy stage to win, and I didn't, because I'm a fraud. Um, yeah, it's a bad day. Uh, I counted on Micah and Conrad today. Uh, I won't be able to do so, so we'll settle for seventh in the GC. I'll try and grab a dub with Champoussin, because, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, lads. I've, this is my eighth stage in this video. I currently have five podiums, but no wins. And it is well and truly unacceptable. All right, final seven kilometers of the stage. Uh, I told you we're, we're going to try and win with Clément. It's not going to be easy. Uh, once again, uh, I, I mean, I am once again asking for the peloton's kindness to allow me to to win. I don't feel it's going to work because, I mean, the AI can't listen to me, which is a big, big shame because usually I would just like tell them to stop. And I could win like every single race without my house law. And that would be absolutely stupendous. Um, but we're going to prepare our final sprint. In this Volta Catalunya, uh, Michael Woods has gone for a, a little escapee at the front. Uh, well, good luck, Michael. Uh, and once again, hello in the peloton because you've been co-op already. Come on, Clément. If there's any good sprinter, I am I'm fucked. We've lost to Tadej Pogacar. I am once again second. I hate this game so fucking much. Oh my god! I got fourth place. No, sorry, I got second four times in this episode. Three times with Clément Champoussin. The last episode, I said if you wanted to win, just call me. Now I'm just handing second second places. What's wrong with me? Right, that guy from Slovenia has won. Woohoo! We're all happy for him. Clap, 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 clap. He's also won the GC. Woohoo, we're all happy for him. Clap, 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 clap. Micah in seventh, dead. Meleki, I don't like you. Uh, we didn't get the green jersey, obviously, because it's not green. It's it's yellow, and we didn't get it either, because Pogacar was rapid. Pogacar, oh my god, he's won everything. Did we not even win? Of course Movistar wins the Movistar classification. This is rigged. They're in Spain. And whilst movie star is in Spain, right? I'm I'm in the same state, but remove the S. I'm in pain, a dire pain, because I've been absolutely ridiculous. Second, third. Let's not talk about these stages. Second, fifth, second, second on Milano San Remo, second, or also fourth on Milano San Remo, and like always by the smallest of margins. It's not like I've been absolutely shafted. What a dead episode that was for me. It really was quite bad. And the next episode is going to be Gorbevel Game, Edouard Rolbeck, Drift Gas de Flandlanderen, and Ronda with Benji. Who's our cowl guy again? Is it, is it the god? It is. Well, uh, Benji, good luck. You'll need it. 
um, we need to break the curse of not winning stages, which is definitely not a curse I've implemented today. Hopefully though, you did enjoy uh, this episode of YTC. If you did, then please do smash the like button down below. That would mean a lot uh, to me. If you haven't seen the previous episode, then go ahead and uh, do so. Uh, you can also, I mean, no, it's not, you can also do subscribe to uh, Joe and Benji's channels. The links will be in the description down below. Uh, if you're still watching this actually also, and you're not subbed to me, I'm still trying to reach 2000 by the end of 2020. I mean, technically I wanted to reach 20, 2020 subs by the end of 2020. That means I need to gain 200 subs in a month. It's gonna be tough. But you never know, right? I believe that YouTube can do great things. So please do subscribe to the channel if you're new on here for daily content. And I'll see you in the very near future. Next episode will be for Mr. Benjamin. This Sunday, 6 p.m. CET. My name has been Lacour. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great one. And tschüss. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. But them other man ain't feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up, I'm out with the duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.